Hey everyone and welcome back to VFX Vibe once again. In today's video, we are going to see how we can create blend materials for landscape in Unreal Engine 5. Yes, today's video is going to be a very exciting and very technical videos and I hope you will learn and you will use this technique in your Unreal projects. So without any delay, let's get started. Okay, so as you can see over here, I have created a very basic landscape over here. I am not going to tell you detail of the landscape, how you can create it. If you want, I can create or I, I can make a one video on separate video on that. So as you can see over here, for this example, I have created a very basic uh, landscape and we are going to create our custom uh, landscape material for this. Suppose that if you want to create a grass landscape and you want uh, patches of like rubbles and patches of like sand or patches of like any kind of land, you can do it by using blend material option inside Unreal Engine 5. So to start with, I'm going uh, in my content browser and I'm going over here. Already I have created a landscape blend material, but if you want, you can right click over here and you can create one new folder and you can name it like blend material whatsoever. So I have already created landscape blend material. So I'm going over here and in that particular folder, I'm going to right click and I'm going to create one material and I'm going to name it a uh, blend underscore material underscore white means for you to I'm creating it. So just you have to uh, do that and to add some texture to it. I'm going to double click over here. As you can see over here, I am having a pretty blank uh, material editor. So what I need to do, I need to import some textures which you want to add in our landscape material. So for that, I'm going to uh, my content browser already. I have downloaded it from bridge. If you want, you can go over here in windows and you can go to Quixel bridge and you can log in and you can download as per a requirement. So already I have done it. I have downloaded um, several uh, textures, but I'm going to use three of them, right? So already I imported in my Unreal Engine. And as you can see over here, I have my uh, mega scan and surfaces and in surfaces like let me minimize it or close it. So as you can see over here and in surfaces, I have all my textures, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, enable or I'm going to open my texture blend material and probably I'm going to do this and I can uh, click control and uh, space bar. And as you can see over here, I can go to let me fix it. I can go to my mega scan and surfaces and easily I am having my these textures. So I'm going to select my albedo and my normal and my roughness and I'm going to drag and drop something like that. And meanwhile, you can arrange it as per a requirement. So let's arrange it. And I'm going to import my all three texture the same way I have done here. So I'm going to select my second one and probably I can select all these and I'm going to drag and drop. Okay, now after importing all these textures, I want to tweak few things. First thing first, I want to tweak my UV repetition. So how I can do that? Just hit tab and you have to type a uh, landscape landscape uh, layer chords, right? Matab, layer coordinates you can uh, control. So after doing that, I'm going to take a node called another node called multiply. And in multiply, I have uh, A and B input. So first input will be my A and second input will be my parameters. Uh, by using parameters, I can control my UV scaling or repetition. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, right click over here and I can use promote to parameter or you can directly use a, a parameter or scale parameter or you can type, uh, you can hit 
tab and you can type parameters and you can take parameters as well it's all up to you so keep it in mind you have to rename your uh, parameters as well so you can easily identify which parameter is controlling what right so i'm going over here uh, of course i'm going to control parameters uh, for this texture so this texture name is probably i can see uh, dried grass so might be i can type over here dried grass dried underscore grass right and keep it in mind in parameter i have to uh, change default value to one now i can copy all this setup and i can uh, multiply or i can paste it twice so that i can create all separate separate controllers for my separate separate textures so let me do it i'll come back once it's done okay so i'm done copying it and i have created each and every uh, textures controllers okay so what else i need to do i need to connect my output to input of uv so i am going to connect uv to my albedo same uv to my normal and same uv to my roughness same way i'm going to connect each and every textures uv coordinates to my uh, newly created uv coordinates controller of uv co coordinates probably i would say and same way i'm going to do this i'm going to do this and i'm going to do this as well now you have to take care about how my these controllers for each and every blend materials is gonna work right so for that thing i'm going to take another node which we call a uh, make material something make material attributes right keep it in mind we have to take make material attributes and if you see i have my base color so i'm going to connect my base color to base color my normals to normal and my roughness to my roughness same way i can copy this control c and control v and again i am going to base color my normal and my roughness and keep it in mind that you can take multiple textures to blend uh, together and you can create your new one so i am using three materials you can use four five six seven whatever you want so one more time i'm going to paste it and again i'm going to uh, copy my base to base and my normal to my normal and my roughness to my roughness something like that right now after that we have to do one more step trust me it's pretty simple if you can understand and if you can if you can easily see how easy it's unreal's node graph to understand just you have to connect few connections right so apart from that what you have to do you have to take another node called landscape layer blend so i am going to take this landscape layer blend and you have to keep it in mind you have to add three slots for our all three textures so how we can do that so i have add element over here so i can click once twice and thrice so since we have three textures so you, we have to take three elements so uh, here as well you need to rename it so it will be good for you so uh, layer name is none so what i'm going to do so i am going over here and probably i can copy this control c and i have to select this and here i have to name it just for your convenience so i am going to rename all three elements and i'll come back once it's done okay so i am done with my renaming and now what i have to do i have to connect it so how how i can do that just output to my first slot second slot and third slot something like that third slot 
now i am done connecting now i need to do one more step because we are creating blend material so it will take some time to or it will take few more nodes to uh, really activate it so what i need to do i need to add one more node uh, keep it in mind that we have created make material attributes now i want to create break material attribute so what it will do it will break all your three materials input and you can give input to your exactly shader so i'm going to take bake material inputs and i'm going to arrange it something like that and what you have to do you have to connect your output to this input now i can connect my base material to base material my roughness to my roughness and my normal to normal now finally we are done we don't need to do anything and now i'm going to save it once it's done just minimize it and we have to go over here and if you remember we have created our uh, landscape blend material to blend material yt for youtube so now i'm going to right click over here and i'm going to create material instance because we don't want to uh, directly tweak our master material so i'm going over here and uh, blend material and it will be probably it will uh, call instance underscore yt just for naming conventions so this is my master material and this is my uh, what we can say uh, instance material so i'm going to select my instance material and i'm going to select my landscape as well over here and then going over here and in landscape material i'm going to apply it so what will happen you can see a very shiny and very uh, reflective surface i am getting don't worry we need to uh, change few more things so what i can do just you have to go to uh, over here not over here so you have to go over here in landscape material and keep it in mind you have to go to paint right so in paint you are getting your all three materials so what you need to do just you have to create layer info and just select weight blended layer normal so i'm going to save it again and as i did my texture has been applied but you have to do it for all three materials something like that and again one more time you have to save it right now your all materials are here now you can as you can see my texture has been applied but it's very much tileable right so what i can do now to fix style i'm going over here in my landscape blend material so this material material instance and i'm going to switch it, switch it on so let me do this let me uh, decrease it might be uh, 0.2 or 0.1 as i'm going to do now i'm getting very good result so might be i can do 0.1 as well might be 0.1 as well and if needed i can come anytime and i can i can tweak this so after doing that just save it if you want okay now as you can see i am having only my grass so i can tweak it let me increase my tool strength let me select it and let's can you see that i can paint my other textures as well so let's undo it let's select it and might be i can uh, reduce the strength might be i can reduce the brush and i can start painting this area because i don't want grass over here i want something like it's something like this and i can start painting things right i can go close might be i can paint little more and might be i can select third one and i can select third one i can start painting as well at corners some rubble some textures something like that as you can see i can start doing this and probably i can tweak this as well might be i can go to my camera view and as you can see i can start tweaking things as per my camera as well so might be i can exit to camera and i can start tweaking things don't worry we have repetitions but we can fix it by doing same technique so now i can add some sort of variation to my grounds as as well something like that probably you can see might be i can select this and might be it's too much so i can reduce the tonal strength and might be here and there i can start tweaking things something like that probably i need some 
grassy patch over here as well so i can select first one i can reduce the tonal strength and might be i can reduce the brush size and i can start painting some some sort of and might be i can brush fall off i can use so probably i can add some grass as well something like that and if you can see through cine camera actor now you can easily see what we have we have a grass and we can we have that power we can paint our own texture own created blend materials and you can use it as per your requirement by using this technique i am going to create one uh, a landscape as well very soon and i am going to use same technique to create my ground as well in this video i have only explained the way you can create your blend material and you can use it in your landscape creation so i hope this video is uh, very interesting and this video is uh, helpful for you and if you think that this video is helping you please don't forget to like this video share this video and if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe with this said this is vfxy signing off have a good day